Hey guys, it's Steph. So a lot of new products are coming out this spring and I've got a chance to try a bunch of them. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorites and ones I didn't like so much. First product is the Nicki Minaj by OPI um, nail polish. I have two that I'm gonna be showing you guys. This one is called Pink Friday. And I actually love this one so much. I think it is the perfect pink. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is I'm not really a fan of OPI brushes in general. Um, I actually prefer the Sally Hansen ones, but I will put through that <laughs> just because I love this color so much. I think it is the perfect pink, and I think that every girl should have the perfect pink in her closet that will go with everything. And it's such a neutral pink that you can wear it if you have to go somewhere really, you know, fancy and sophisticated. And it's a really fun color for spring because pastels are so in for spring, it is ridiculous. Another product I've been loving is the Biore Nose Strips. I have really stubborn blackheads. It's kind of my problematic spot on my face. And these actually take away my blackheads really, really nicely. And they, they kind of hurt a little bit um, when you peel them off, but honestly, it's like two seconds. It's like taking off a Band-Aid, it's fine. And um, I think they're just great. I think they're a must once a week kind of deal, unless you have really bad blackheads, maybe two times a week. And they just really help minimize the appearance. And the cool thing is when you peel them off, this may grow some people out, but you can like see where your blackheads were, like you can see them on the strip which I think is cool and I like it because I like to know that it works and then you can physically see that it works and then your nose feels so much smoother and better, um, but maybe that might gross some people out. So the only con about this product is that might gross some people out and two, it kind of hurts, but it's for two seconds and it's so worth it. A product I haven't been loving very much is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, this is a, a quad and it's in 575 Delightful and this is what it looks like. Now the colors are really nice and I was really excited because this is the perfect kind of neutral palette for spring and everyday kind of look. Um, but they honestly are so not pigmented. It's a little bit ridiculous. When you swatch it on your finger, it's fine. Uh, you can tell that it, there's color. Um, it's a little bit chalky as well. But then when you kind of rub it in or try it on your eyes, it literally is like you're putting on nothing. So I kind of think it's a waste of money. The colors are nice. They came up with really nice colors, but the product just doesn't do what it should be doing, especially since it's a color stay product. So basically it's claiming that it's gonna stay on for a long period of time. It does not do that. I definitely give this product a thumbs down and I don't recommend it. Another product I have been loving is Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I think this is a really great mascara if you're basically only looking for length. Um, don't be afraid to coat this on. I don't have very good eyelashes. They don't really curl very much and they're not very long. But this uh, mascara, I can put on three coats. I know it seems like a lot, maybe sometimes even four does not give you the clumpy look. It literally just gives you length. And one thing I do really like about this is it doesn't flake off. And also, um, I have a really teary eye, so when I like lay down or something like that, like my, um, I'm always wiping up my eye and with any mascara, I've always wiped my eye and I look on my finger and there's like black from my mascara and a smear mark. When my eye waters with this, Literally, it does not come off. It's like it's like it's kind of waterproof, but it's not. It's just not very easy to come off. Um, so it really stays on there really nice. So that'll be better when it's hot weather and you don't want your mascara kind of melting down your face or flaking off. This is really good. So this is definitely for somebody who is looking for length rather than volume. I hate to say it, but this is probably one of the worst products I've ever tried in my life. It is by Clinique and they are the Almost Lipsticks. I was really excited when I got this because I'm not much of a lipstick girl. I, I don't know, I just don't really go for lipsticks that often. But when I saw these, I was like, oh great, it's kind of like a tinted lipstick. Um, colors are beautiful. This is the pink one. And this one is in Shy Honey. But when you swatch it on your hand, literally clear, it's like nothing, even with the darkest one. The darkest one is called Black Honey, and this is what it looks like. I was really excited about this color because I love kind of dark blood red colors. When you swatch it, that's all that comes off. And it seems like awesome on your hand. You're like, if that's what you like, you're like, oh, well it does have some pigmentation. Then when you put it on your lips, nothing. It doesn't give you really any color on your lips at all, so I definitely would give this a thumbs down and say to leave it. 
the next product is the next Nicki Minaj uh, by OPI. And this one is called Save Me. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is so sparkly and amazing. And it has long sparkles in it that are blue and gold, as well as little glitters that are just silver. And I think this is so fun. And it actually looks really good on top of Pink Friday. Together, they just remind me of like a pink cake with sprinkles or something. I just love this one so much and I think every girl has to have it because it's really nice just to kind of jazz up your nails if you think they look a little bit boring. So the second last product I'm going to be talking about is the Biore Warming Anti-Blackhead Cleanser. I love this. This reminds me a lot of Max Volcanic Ash Mask. If a lot of you are familiar with that, it was a limited edition collection and it has volcanic ash in it which made it warm on your face which was amazing and you can't get it anymore because it was limited edition and it was really expensive. So this is a dupe I think for it and it targets blackheads which are great for me because that is my problem area on my face like I said and it warms which is really nice on cold winter mornings because in Canada it is freezing in winter time so even in spring it's kind of cold in the morning so this is nice to wash your face in the morning with this and kind of have just like this nice warm feeling on your face and for it to actually remove your blackheads I love this product I think it's a great price um, especially because max was like 30 something dollars this is nowhere near that so I definitely think this is a great buy and I love it and I recommend it last product I'm gonna be talking about is the Chic Hydro I love this razor so much Ever since I got it and I've been using it, I have literally been obsessed and I threw out all my other razors and I'm only using this one now. It's actually amazing. It moisturizes as well as acts as a shaving cream. So it's basically only need water. So when I'm in the shower, instead of like putting on so much shaving cream or whatever you use, you literally just, your body just needs to be wet with water and you just glide this over and it acts as the shaving cream and then after, um, it leaves like a nice moisturizing feeling to your skin, so it's like a million products in one. So I definitely recommend this and I will keep buying this forever and ever and ever because I actually love it. To see my top 5 beauty products of spring, check out the February issue of Verve Girl. Also, for a chance to win products featured in this video, text STEP to 89863. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.